Welcome back, friends. Valentine's Day is almost here, and you're sweetie to deserve something just super sweet for dessert. So today, we're gonna be making a molten lava cake. Let's get into it. Okay. As normal, we're gonna start off, we're gonna start talking about some of the ingredients. So to get started, uh, of course, we've got our chocolate. This is about 170 grams of semi-sweet chocolate. We've got two whole eggs in here, and then we also have two egg yolks. We've got a quarter cup of sugar, and we have some confectioner sugar for dusting and plating. We've got one whole stick of butter, uh, which you'll need some more butter to butter your ramekins. And we've got two tablespoons of flour, and you also need a little bit of extra flour to dust your ramekins as well. Okay, so there's a couple things that I forgot to put on my ingredients table as, as usual. Uh, and so we got some vanilla, 16th to an eighth of a teaspoon of salt, just depends on how salty you like your chocolate. So let's start cooking. So there's one thing we need to do before we start cooking and that is prep our ramekins. So I'm gonna take a stick of butter and I'm just gonna cover the inside of all of my ramekins with butter. And then I'm gonna drop in a little bit of flour and make sure all surfaces are coated with the flour. This helps the, the cake from sticking and it wouldn't be much of a lava cake if it was still in a ramekin. Okay, so to start, I'm gonna go over the stove and we're gonna set up a double boiler. This method to, to melt our chocolate and butter together, it should only take a few minutes to do this. If you don't wanna go through the, the hassle of setting up a double boiler, you can actually do this in your microwave. Just put your butter and your chocolate in a, in a bowl, glass bowl, microwave safe bowl, and then microwave it on 30 second intervals until, um, until it's ready. Try not to burn your, your chocolate either. Once this is done, we're gonna allow it to rest. So let's start working on our batter now. We're gonna go into a stand mixer. You can also use a hand mixer here if you have one. I would suggest doing this mechanically, uh, but you can, if you wanna try it, do it by hand. But I'm gonna go in with all of my eggs and my sugar, and then we're gonna beat these until they almost double in size. They're thick, they're creamy, it's a pale yellow. Just uh, once everything is kind of incorporated together, I'm now gonna add a little bit of salt. It's not needed, but I like a salty chocolate, so you can dump a little bit of salt in there. And then we're also gonna go in with a little bit of vanilla extract. So one way to know if your eggs are to the proper level uh, is that you can take your beater and dunk it down in it and then draw little shapes on top of your batter. And if it hangs out there for a second or two, then you've kind of reached the, the stiffness, thickness that we're looking for. So now I'm gonna slowly start to mix in my chocolate. It's been cooling for a little bit. If it's still hot, you're gonna to want to temper your eggs before mixing all of it in. We're just gonna to continue to fold this in in small little sections until we get all of our chocolate in. And then lastly, we're gonna go in with our two tablespoons of flour. This flour is just gonna act kind of like a binding agent, kind of holding the whole batter together. Uh, without it, your cake's not gonna set. Okay, once your batter is all done, uh, we're gonna pull over our ramekins. I've placed them on a baking sheet just for ease. And so these ramekins are a little bit bigger than what you would traditionally find, and this may pose a problem, but we're gonna try it anyways. Traditionally, these only cook for seven, six or seven minutes. What we're gonna do is we're gonna equally divide our batter in between all of our ramekins. But once I've got my batter fully divided, I'm gonna put these into the oven and we're gonna bake them. You know, traditionally, I was saying six minutes, but I'm thinking these are probably gonna to take closer to 10 minutes. And then once they're done, you can pull them out. I like to let mine cool for just a second. Uh, a way that you can tell if they're finished is if you kind of touch the top and there's still a little bit of wiggle in it, but you're, you don't come back with any batter on your finger, you're good to go. Once it's cooled, we got to actually get this cake onto its serving dish. So I'm gonna set my plate on top of it and then I'm gonna invert the whole thing and then I'm gonna remove the ramekin off the top of it. Lastly for this video, I'm just gonna simply dust this with some confectioner sugar, but you can do whatever you would like to here. Well, wasn't that a fun and kind of easy cook? So let's get a little bite into this. Ooh. You see it melt away. Boy. So rich, super creamy. 
Lord. These bigger ramekins ended up being a little bit of a struggle for me. The cakes don't really cook evenly in those, uh, but it turned out we got our lava cake. You know, you could think of so many different ways of pairing this. Throwing a little ice cream on it with some strawberries or raspberries, some whipped cream it would all be super, super good. And man, just chocolate. It's a chocolate lover's delight. Mm. Blows the pants off of Domino's. I want to thank you for stopping by today. Remember to like and subscribe. Go hug and give your loved one a kiss. And we'll catch you next time. Peace. Cool.